Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a classroom tour. I will take you guys through both of my classrooms. So I teach interior design, sewing, and fashion. I'm a family and consumer sciences high school teacher. So I have two classrooms. I have my sewing lab and then my regular classroom and they're right next to each other. So I'm going to take you through. We're gonna do this more vlog style because I'm just on my handheld tripod here. Let's go in. So here is my door, um, garbage can, lovely. I have my class song request page so students can scan that QR code or go to the link, request songs for us to play while we're working in class. Obviously school hasn't started yet but I have my hall pass sheet for students to fill out and then if they come into class late they fill out this tardy log. We have my quote wall and I eventually want to expand this quote wall, I just haven't had a chance to, but just some positive motivational quotes. And then moving over here I just have this huge storage shelf. I keep copies of things that students use, textbook, um, just like random stuff. These are my absent bins. So if a student is absent and they need to get a worksheet or whatever, it'll be in those bins there. Colored pencils. I have this welcome sign and a candlestick just to add some color. Uh, again, eventually want to fill this up, but both of those are from Hobby Lobby. Uh, we have my sink, just more storage stuff. On top of my cabinets over here, I have a poster of a Matisse painting, which I got on allposters.com, and then I got the frame on Amazon. Fake aloe plant from Home Goods, and then the little flamingo stuffed animal was a gift, so I have no idea where you can get that one. And then over here is my desk area. Um, I use textbooks to prop up my laptop. My letter organizer, paper organizer, is from Amazon. This print I got on Etsy, another quote that I printed, and then the little box elder wreath is from Amazon. So that's my desk area. Window, phone, this bulletin board, obviously school hasn't started yet so I haven't filled it up yet, but I have my students do one word goals and they color them on a little 3x5 index card and then I fill up this poster or this bulletin board with those quotes with their goals. The pom-poms, I actually made myself. I chose my color scheme and I made the pom-poms by hand and tied them to jute and then came to school and put them up. Turn-in baskets, supplies that my students use all the time, poster board, and then this entire wall is whiteboard actually so that's pretty cool so on my whiteboard i have my students like the schedule what we're doing for that day their i can statements and then on this smaller part right here i write their due dates so that they can just be aware of them um i actually created my own class rules and consequences poster this one is kind of wrinkled so i have magnets holding it up but the i made them on canva and then i just had my library print and laminate them my screen and then we have over here so both of these doors lead into my closet i have another bulletin board over here with the pom-poms that I made. These two paper, papers right here, I'm just covering up signs that say my school name on them. So on this bulletin board, I covered the back with just white fabric. And then right now I just have my elements and principles of design posters up there. Eventually I'd like to get some cuter elements and principles of design posters, but for now this is just fine. So I'll take you into this closet real quick. So my lights turn on automatically. So I have just like copies of stuff, my paper cutter. This is all just like interior design materials, magazines. This is just a hot mess in here. I have my paper organizer, um, easels for FCCLA projects. And then over here I have my microwave. And then just down here we have the emergency poop bucket. And then we can go out this door and we're back in the classroom. So I have full length mirror. My students love to take selfies in this. And then right here, this is actually new this year. I got this poster on Amazon. It's dresses of the best actress Oscar winner um, up until the year 2014. So from the beginning of the Oscars to 2014. Pretty cool, especially teaching fashion. And then we're back to the beginning. So I will now take you over to my sewing lab. So I am very, very fortunate. I have a massive sewing lab. I count myself very lucky. Most sewing teachers do not have something like this, but I'm very, very lucky. Same thing, tardy log in the hall pass. I have a dressing room. So in here, I have some fabric, mannequins, thread, and a steamer. Not super exciting. 
here's the meat and potatoes, but we'll work from here over, whiteboard, screen, same thing with my rules and consequences. And then we have this closet, quilting machine, and then just my storage, like all my supplies and stuff. Just, it's not super organized. <laughs> Desk, this bulletin board, which I created a learn to speak patternese uh, bulletin board, which just is a good reminder for students. And then all my sewing machines in the middle. We have lots of big cutting tables. Um, eventually, you know, decorate along. I do have some decorations right over there that I'll show you. So over here on the top, I have just a few decorations clustered together. So I have a Doris Day poster, which again, allposters.com, as well as this Vogue one over here, an old sewing machine and an old iron from antique shop. And then the two quotes are from Hobby Lobby. I have my sergers on this table. Over here, I have these two floral arrangements, which I just store um, for our ag teacher, actually. Irons, and then again, the schedule and I can statements. And then I have this other little tiny bulletin board, and this is where I put the one word goals from my sewing classes. And then we have all the sewing machines and the cabinets and the storage, so just crazy. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this quick classroom tour. I hope it gave you some ideas. I'm not the best at decorating. Don't worry about those things very much, but hopefully it gave you some ideas. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh